Greetings to everyone present. We are the ICT 4014 Project Team 1, presenting the report findings for our project titled Performance Predictor, a Data Mining Tool, and Machine Learning Software for Student Performance Outcomes. My name is Ivy Chisha. Presenting with me are Mutune Chaiwela, David Pungwa, Dani Baba, and Biden Simukoko. All right, so over the past two years, the School of Education at the University of Zambia recorded a high poor academic performance of students, particularly in ICT 1110. Now, this could be associated to certain factors like minor course content, course workload, participation, and the like, and also notable demographic factors. Therefore, the purpose of this presentation is to show the feasibility of implementing a machine learning model for automatically predicting students at risk of failing, particularly ICT 1110. Also, it will seek to present the input features correlated with ICT 1110 students, present a classification model for predicting students at risk of failing, and it will show interactive APIs for easy interactions with the model. The presentation will also seek to give answers to what features were correlated with performance in ICT 1110, if it was feasible to implement a classification model, and how this model would be deployed. All right, to begin with, the research findings were obtained from potential stakeholders, being the ICT 1110 students and course instructors. For this purpose, an online questionnaire was prepared via Google Forms, distributed and limited to only the ICT 1110 students. This was done to elicit factors that are likely associated with academic performance outcomes. At this point, I'll let my fellow presenters take it up from here. Thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm Simkoko Baidon, and I'll continue from where my colleague ended. So the figures above are trying to show the cluster graphs of the student responses to the questionnaires which were distributed to them online. And among the factors which were inquired to them in trying to find out if they do have an impact on the performance of students in ICT 1110 course were course interest, uh, the mode of teaching in terms of content delivery, the mode of teaching in terms of assessment structure, prior knowledge of the student, support structure in terms of one owning a computer, support structure in terms of one liking a computer, support structure in terms of uh, liking computational equipment, as well as motivation, time management, minor courses, guidance, attendance, time management in terms of uh, regularity of study time. So uh, the interview sought or rather solicited to gain possible factors that could be related with the academic performance of ICT 1110 students. And this allowed the research team to gather reliable results from the educators themselves. The interview was conducted online via Google Meets and two educators were interviewed being one lecturer and one tutor. The responses collected or rather gathered via the online interview we are quantified, summarized, and uh, presented in a tabular form. Thank you. My next colleague will continue. Continue where my colleague has ended, um, Pungo David. And here are some of the questions presented in tabular form. The first one is in association with attendance. The, and the lecturer's response we got was um, the overall attendance is really bad. And um, the tutor's response was um, almost everyone tried by all means to make it then the next question is in um, association with participation lecturer's response was the uh, overall participation is really bad and tutor's response was um, the overall participation was average moving on to the third question in association with performance outcomes the tutor's uh, i mean lecturer's responses there is a correlation between the minor program that the student is pursuing and their overall performance. It's a fact that that is correlated to an outcome. Then the student uh, that regularly access the resources tends to perform better. This was a uh, lecturer's response. And then the tutor's response was um, absenteeism and lack of interest, among others. 
Then um, moving on to the uh, support structures, the, we got the tutor's response. In terms of the number of computers, the number of computers are enough, but not all of them are working at the same time. Furthermore, after reviewing the online interviews conducted among ICT 1110 educators and online questionnaires distributed among ICT 1110 students, the responses reveal the following factors that would make possible features for the project model. And these uh, fact, uh, features are student interest, mode of teaching, prior knowledge, motivation, support structures, time management, minor courses, academic guidance, attendance, participation, and lastly, engagement. Thank you. This is where my colleague will pick it up. To pick up from where my colleague has ended, my name is Siababa Dani. The above stated factors are potential factors that could contribute to performance outcomes of students. The factors were, were gathered the, fact that the factors gathered were closely analyzed in order to source data associated with factors and thereafter come up with features whose data will be used for prediction model. After analyzing and searching for data source for each factor, it was concluded that workable factor that would serve as potential features for the project model would be as follows student interest, workload, minor courses, engagement, and as well as the demographic factors outside the station process, which include gender, institution aid, institution support, and workload. So here are some of the selected machine learning algorithms which were used. The first one is logistic regression. Although it is similar to linear regression, logistic regression analyzes the relationship between multiple independent variables and the categorical dependent variables. It estimates the probability of occurrence of an event by fitting data into logistic curve. The second one is decision tree. Decision tree is one of the widely used techniques in machine learning. Machine learning. So it is a tree-based technique which end path, which end path starting from the root ID described by a data separating the sequence until finally a Boolean result at the leaf node is accomplished. So in order to investigate the performance of the algorithm being used in the project model, a holdout method test was used. The procedure split the data into two parts. The first part is the training set where the proposition is trained and the holdout set and which the performance is measured for validating and testing the model. From here, my colleague will continue. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll continue from where my colleague has ended. My name is Mutune Chaiveda. Uh, the model has been implemented as a web-based application using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Python programming languages. Using the aforementioned algorithms, the system was able to predict those students who are, who are likely to pass and those students who are, like, who are at risk of failing the ICT-11 course. Just here we have the screenshots of the model where it has an interface, user interface, where the user is able to log in and enter the various imp the input features we identified from the stakeholders. And thereafter, the user is able to enter the computer number of a particular student, and the model is able to predict whether the student is at risk of failing or is likely to pass the course. Then, in conclusion, you can say, this study was based on building a model that was able to predict students who are at risk of failing ICT 1110 
and require high intervention. The study was carried out using data which was collected from the ICT 1110 stakeholders, which included the ICT 1110 lecturer and tutor, as well as the ICT 1110 first year students. And using a data set of input features that included student interest, engagement, workload, minor, gender, tuition support, and institutional aid. The study constructed a prediction model that was able to identify students who need high intervention with a reasonable degree of accuracy. The key observations from the experiments were that predictions for performance may be made with a reasonably good accuracy and that it is possible to determine a greatly reduced feature subset, which can achieve predictions similar to using all the features. Overall, this study has shown that data collected from the stakeholders can be used to build the data-driven intervention prediction models for academic performance. The aim of this model was to identify students at risk of failing the ICT 1110 course so that the course instructors and educators can ascertain and execute appropriate and effective cor correction mechanisms to help students at risk, to help at risk students achieve good performance and learning outcomes. So at this point, we'd like to, this is the end of our presentation and we'd like to invite questions.